Well, hello everybody. I am Jay Leonard J, and today we are looking at the Hydra Reverb and Tremolo by Keeley Electronics. <laughs> Well, what we have on the bench today is the brand new pedal from Keeley Electronics. And man, these uh, these cats at Keeley, they love to pack their pedals with just all the sounds. And uh, this is no exception. Uh, with the Hydra, it's a two-sided pedal. You have tremolo on one side and reverb on the other. You have three types of reverb three types of tremolo, uh, you have the presets, you can go stereo. There's some knobs on this cat which have like multiple functions. So the plan today is I'm gonna get this box, show you some of my favorite sounds in it and how to use it. I'm gonna use this Fender Stratocaster which I got from the lovely cats down at Rufus Guitar Shop. And I'm gonna go stereo into this Benson Chimera and this Tone King Imperial. Let's get to work. <laughs> Well, this is the sound of just the guitar going into the two amp. Very, very good. I should probably go stereo more often. That's big sounding in my ears. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get like a good old surfy tone spring reverb, and we're gonna use the sine wave a tremolo. Uh, this is the reverb side. We got mixed well and color, which is tone, tremolo side, rate and depth. Let's hear what we got. This is the reverb. <laughs> Very nice. Now there's actually uh, sub functions going on here. So this is the mix knob, but if I hold on to this, this uh, knob is a button. If I hold on to it and turn it, it actually turns into a reverb modifier. If I do that, I press this button and I move it down. It's going to get a uh, more of a clean sounding spring reverb, more polite sounding. <laughs> And if I turn it up the other way, it gets something a little bit more echoey and nasty. Ooh, that's clangy. Let's bring it back just a touch. And now let's add some of the tremolo. So right now the tremolo is feeding into the reverb, but if I want to get really surfy, I want actually uh, the reverb first and then the tremolo. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold this button here and double tap reverb. And now reverb is the very first thing you hear and it gets more affected when you get to hear that tremolo. <laughs> I can make the tremolo go back and forth, pan between my ears. I just hold on to this button here and then move the rate knob all the way to the left. And all of a sudden I get a panning tremolo. Mm -hmm. 
I could even do a tap tempo if I want, hold on to the tremolo, and then uh, start tapping my tempo. Now let's go even more retro. We're gonna go room reverb and uh, harmonic tremolo. So the room reverb is right at the very end. So I just gotta put the click in, one, two, and then you can see that light. And all of a sudden it has a nice empty room sound. <laughs> Awesome. We can make it sound bigger again with the room modifier. Push down on that middle button, move everything up, and all of a sudden it gets really big sounding room. Or bring it down and get something just a little bit more small and a little bit more intimate. Up next is the harmonic tremolo. I'm gonna get there by pressing down on this button and then moving it to the harmonic tremolo section. So one, and uh, there it is, the middle section. And let's hear what that sounds like. <laughs> There's just something fun about harmonic tremolo, isn't there? I think it because it has a little bit of that univibe sound, it can get quite psychedelic, especially if you slow down the rate. What you can do to get really psychedelic is get an expression pedal, plug it into this, and uh, you could actually map any knob to the expression pedal. I'm gonna actually get the speed of that harmonic trim and I could use it just the way you would uh, like the foot pedal on a Univibe and get something really, really cool. <laughs> Let's get a little bit ethereal now. Let's go to the plate reverb uh, and the vibrato. So I'm just gonna move the switch over to plate and let's hear what we got going on over here. We can add that shimmer that everybody likes with the reverb modifier. I'm just gonna hold this and move it up and we get that upper octave start to come in. Mm -hmm. 
Now let's add a little bit of the vibrato. Hold the button, move it to the vibrato section. We have this. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to go wet dry. I'm going to put the vibrato in one channel and I'm going to keep the other channel dry. And I could actually do that with both the reverb and the tremolo. The way you do it with the tremolo, again, is hold the modifier, move it all the way up. And now we can get that sound. I could get infinite reverb just by holding on to this reverb foot switch. And that is the Hydra by Keely Electronics. Well, that is it. That is the demo. Thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe to the page if you haven't already. And uh, check out the links in the description. It really helps out the page. If you want to hear my review on the Hydra, uh, check it out on Patreon. I do all my reviews funded by the Patreon supporters on Patreon. And I do all my demos on YouTube. My question for the subscribers is, what is your favorite type of reverb? Like plate, spring, hall. What's your favorite type of tremolo? Like bias, opto, anything. Please write it in the comments section below. That being said, I'll see you all soon. Take care and goodbye.